Good morning, doggy. Good morning. Nose spiky down. Hey. <laughs> yo, 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 what's going on, Tainty? I hope you guys are all super well. I'm having my breakfast. I forgot to make my overnight oats, so it's pretty much the same thing. We've got three eggs with oats, some yogurt, berries, protein powder, almond milk. It's, oh, and there's some uh, leaves in there, some spinach leaves. So that's my breakfast for this morning. We're gonna get a workout in. I think I'm gonna do one tonight because I don't feel like I have the most energy right now. Got a lot of work that I'm doing today. We've got the Steps Collab product, which is coming out. I think it's like, what's the date today? Okay, it's in about two days that's coming out. So I have a little bit of work that I need to do for that and then some other stuff as well, but that's pretty exciting. Okay, I'm gonna quickly interrupt. We have a huge giveaway. The Become Elite Steps Collab, the Grip Sock of Dreams is releasing. You gotta keep these dates in mind. November 13th, Saturday 7 a.m. PST, Saturday 3 p.m. GMT, and then November 14th, Sunday 2 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So if you're, I mean, if you're Australian, I'm sorry, it's 2 a.m. There is super limited supply of these, so if you want to pick them up, then hey, be quick. But not only that, there's a huge giveaway. I got to read off the phone here because there's so there's a lot of things you can win. So there's going to be five winners, and each prize consists of two Become Elite Steps Grip Socks. Five steps grip socks, one set of resistance bands, two shin pad stays, the Elite 90 program from Matt, the football physique program from Matt, the off season program from Matt, and then a one times 20 minute Skype call or Zoom call with Matt Sheldon and Sheldon Tweedy. So that is what is up for grabs. The link for that to enter will be in the description. I tried to put the best thing possible, and I think I've really done it. I've got Matt and myself on a Skype Zoom call. I've put a whole ton of products together to give away to you guys. So the link to enter will be in the description. And the winner will be announced sort of in the next 40 hours from now. So get in there quick, enter while you can, and then don't forget the dates for the release. Anyway, back with the video. So I'm going to go off to the gym after dinner. I'm pretty sure I'm going with Sam. I, I can really do whatever I want, whether I want to do a push day or a pull day, kind of. I'll decide when I get there. Now, as I said earlier, I was a little bit busy today. The photos are on screen for the teaser. This is coming in the net. It might even be out right now. I don't know. Look, I even have the packaging right here. Uh, this one isn't the real one, but damn. Steps X become elite. What is coming your way? You will only have to wait to find out. I also want to give you guys an update on something else. So as you know, I bought my new Brooks Adrenaline 2021s the other day. These were about 230 to 40 Australian dollars. I'm really liking them at the moment, but I do have these inners in and they were an extra sort of 30 to 40 dollars and I do want to try them without the inners because when I wore them at the shop I did like them, I'm not gonna lie. And I also felt like just in my toe area, and this is something I experienced when I bought like my new underarm. Oh, well not my new, very old. I don't even know where they are. I'm pretty sure they're deep under my bed because I never wear them. I got really bad pains even today just walking around in there. And I think that might be because the inners are a little bit too tight. So I'm gonna change it up, wear these with just the normal Brooks inners that you see. Nothing special here, but look, Brooks is a good shoe. I'm sure they're gonna put good inners in their shoe. Overall, I'm really liking my new runners. I think they're much better and give way better support than these ones that I have been wearing, which is just Nike fly knits. Like, that's cool and it looks nice, but these also look pretty good. Okay, it's gym time now. Heading off to pick Sam up. I think he's just texted me and told me he's doing legs and shoulders. I'm doing a pool day, excited, let's get it. Sammy, mate, you ready? I'm so ready. You got legs, shoulders. Yeah. How are you feeling about today's workout? Yeah, I'm pumped, I'm ready. Ready to go. It's 9-11, so a bit later today. Something like, usually we don't go this late. I think we've been here at like 8.30, yeah. but it was a little bit too packed last time, so we put it a bit later today. Yep. Hopefully we get some equipment, we Hopefully. can get going, Come on. get our session, let's do it! Yep. Alright, so last time I checked I was 70.5 kilos, I think I'm going to be about the same, I had did it not too long ago, look at that, 70.5, bang. So I'm pretty happy with that, that's where I've been kind of going lately is, I peaked at 70.5 which I think is really good, and I don't want to go too heavy, but I don't want to be too light either, so. 
look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think I'm enjoying the gym a little bit more each time I go. So we've got our pull-ups. That form is not very good. And I think that comes from having a weak core. And that's something that we're going to work on. It's some of the most of the core exercises that I used to do, I can no longer do because of my knee. So that's going to take some time. But we're going to get back there. Don't worry. Barbell row, we get to 15, 15, 15, which is absolutely great. So we may either up that to four sets next session and do the same weight or do three sets and up the weight a little bit. I'm yet to decide. Rear delt rows, 13, 12, 13. So we're going to stick to that 30 kilos again. Very, very good exercise. I like that one. Here, I'm smashing this out. I struggled a little bit, but I think the more that I do it, the better I get and the stronger I'm getting with it. So look, 12 by 12 by 12, absolutely awesome. We'll up that maybe even to 50 kilos because that one was way too easy. Now, don't say I don't listen to you guys in the comments. Someone said, put the seat a little bit lower. And I spoke with Sam and the, I put the seat lower. Oh my days, this was very sore. I dropped the weight as well and I even struggled. So this was ten, five kilos on either side and this really isolates the biceps and gave a great workout there. Now we go into the next exercise, face pulls. So we do two sets kneeling, two sets on the ground. I think 20 kilos again, it was tough, but I reckon 22.5 or 25 kilos could be the go for next session. But yeah, really enjoying all of the exercises I'm doing. We move into the bike session with Sam. He, you can see right now, yeah, he's going a little bit slower than me just because his, uh, what we call it, the bike is like the, oh, I can't remember, but it's turned up more. The resistance, that's the word, is a lot higher and mine's slower. So we kind of just did that. My knee wasn't too bad, so I was happy. But we just take it day by day. Some days it's good, some days it's not. But today was one of those days where eh, it wasn't too bad. That's the gym done. I feel really strong, man. I feel stronger every time I come. I say this. Sam and I are finally we were sitting down watching. Here it comes out now. Sam, just tell me your thoughts. We just watched. I think it was like, if you look up Sheldon Tweedy and Tens Double Day. What did I look like then compared to now? I didn't even realize how much muscle you've gained since then. Yeah, like I look <laughs> so tiny, tiny and I look back on it and you go, well, obviously you aren't going to be picked by teams. Yeah. Like I looked so bad, yeah. but now I'm feeling stronger and stronger and feeling good. But we just need to get this knee right. You haven't had any major injuries, have you? No, not really. I mean, not you had your collarbone, yeah, injury. but so for me, I've been, I'm post-surgery about 15 weeks, I think. Yeah. Does, do you think that's a long time post injury? <laughs> Even compared to like the pros, who could have, who have had major injuries like literal leg snaps. Yeah. Like it still seems very long and slow and yeah. tedious. Yeah. for Bayern Munich, there's like a thing on YouTube, 215 or 254 days, and it just shows his recovery really? for like an ACL injury. And yeah. Just, yeah. And that's the thing. Like we don't get to. We think these. And you just said like. It seems so quick, yeah. but until you see the true behind the scenes, it takes time. It takes what some injury, some meniscus. Like I just saw Ansu Fati oh, yeah, nice. to his left side meniscus, the yeah. exact same thing I did. He may be back in 12 weeks. Yeah. He may be back in a year. It just depends on his tear, where it was on his knee, how it tore, the people around, like all the, how his body recovers. There's so many different things, and for me personally, like. I've had injuries in the past and I take a little bit of time to recover. This is probably the longest, so yeah. something new to deal with. But we're heading home now. Solid sesh. How do you think your sesh went, man? It's a good sesh. Yeah, I was stoked with that. So, home time now. Go home, make my overnight oats ready to go in the morning. I was pretty disappointed I didn't get to have them this morning, but hey, we move. Tomorrow is a new day. Damn. Not a bad speed run at all. Three minutes and 15 seconds to make my breakfast for tomorrow. So if I'm ever in bed, or I can't be bothered, I can always be like, you know what, Sheldon? It's only gonna take you three minutes, 15 to look after yourself. I've had it every morning for such a long time now. Bang, 800 calories, so much good stuff in there, man. Like super healthy, gives me so much energy in the morning, but I literally just wanna like, <laughs> so weird i want to go to bed so that i can wake up tomorrow morning and have my breakfast it tastes that good i'm like so excited to have it also i'm just outroing this now i just did that part before but i hope you guys enjoyed 10 20 i'll sign out make sure to like and subscribe and hit your journey i'll see you